need to set it up. Yeah. I'm like, I don't know. yeah. They do expire at the end of the year, apparently. Yeah, she pointed that out. Oh, and I was yeah. like, I don't care. <laughs> Five, Sorry. Four, three, two, one. Skibbity bop bop. There's really no need to count it down. Cause you some dude know. tried to fuck Mike and sent him to Iceland. Yeah. Uh, an interesting podcast. Podcast. Oh, God. Episode 112. Oh, crap. With the beautiful. Michael Kimberger. Hello. And Molly or Tevis Arona. Hello. Arona. I would have messed it up. Thank totally. you for having me here. Yeah, totally. That NPR voice. Messed it up. <laughs> 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 no, uh, welcome to the show. Hi, thank thank you. you for joining us for number 112. 112? Yes. Yeah. We're already over 100? Dude, Wait, yeah. We're approximately <laughs> 12 over. I mean, you've only been on like <laughs> 70 of them, but <laughs> you can count it. <laughs> It definitely it blows my mind that we actually followed through all the way up past 100. Yeah. The, you know. Yeah. What was 100 the 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 cap? Did you have yeah. an out, did you have an outlet at that yeah. point? Or like, like, man, uh yeah. no, not really. We were just like, let's get together and do shit and oh. then it turned into this. <laughs> yeah. So we just yeah. kept buying shit and then Did yeah. you guys keep doing it during COVID? Yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah, oh, wow. Mostly just us, but we had a few that uh yeah. came through. A few brave souls. Just or idiots. Or, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll have to wait. We'll look back in the... We tried to avoid talking about it like early on because it was like, this is going to blow over. And there's no reason to sound stupid yeah. in retrospect. And you're like, six months in. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, this is, this is going to stay. So. <laughs> Let's talk think, about it. Yeah. So I you think, all want to talk about the new variant? No. <laughs> I think Get everybody the fuck out. that way, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, because it was just crazy. It's not something that, okay, this has got to go, <laughs> that's ever been yeah. experienced. No, I that, can't imagine, seriously. We had a lot of our uh, customers and, and property managers that were like, Oh, just give it two, three weeks. We'll be back up and running perfect. And I'm like, all right, cool. And it was Six like a year later. later I'm like, what the fuck? Still <laughs> I mean, initially, that's what it felt like. I felt like two, four weeks, we'd be over it. And then it just kept right. going. And then <laughs> before it came over here and we got all like fucked up and shit, I thought it was funny because it was like, oh, overseas, everybody's <laughs> getting sick and dead. And then it came here. Like, like, oh, God, wait, damn airplanes. It. Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> Should have paid attention. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was a it was a weird because yeah we heard about it and like or we have a friend that's like a doomsday prepper forever. Oh like, nice! Since forever. since no. since, <laughs> since birth, yeah. motherfucker stays so buying beans. Came yeah, out really with does. A, with a go bag. <laughs> he literally made us buy rice and beans. Yeah, yeah. he seriously. <laughs> and he told us about it in December. He's like, yeah, it's this thing, and we're like, okay, another thing. And then it's uh, happening. Oh yeah, dude. And then in February, was it March? We were like, oh. Um, in fairness, yeah. he was also very concerned about Ebola. Oh, oh really? yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was a very thing. concerned. So, so concerned. <laughs> I can see that. Yeah. Shit, it could be a thing still. Yeah, I'd much rather get the Rona than Ebola. Oh I think. yeah, for sure. Well, you already had it. You had <laughs> Ebola. <So. laughs> what are you gonna do? Yeah. <laughs> That's um, but I don't know, man. Like I, I have a buddy that also does that, where uh, it's always Ebola? something else. Oh. No, it's, <laughs> like, like, it's always something around the corner, right? And it's like eventually. You're going to get You're one gonna right. You're going to get one right, right. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, yeah. And that's the thing that you kind of battle with because you know that it's going to confirm what they've been talking about. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it's, but uh, this it's is a do. big one to be right on. You're like, God damn it. Couldn't you have been right on any of the other small like things? Mer people or something. <laughs> yeah. Oh, mer people. Yeah. I wish. I would like that. Yeah, I didn't know there's mer. Is that just a mer man and maid? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mer uh-huh. thing. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mer thing. <laughs> Mer- 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 person. You know, Mer- person. Uh, Mer- ma- male men and male women. It's Mer- male people. Mercens have MRSA. Maybe that's where MRSA comes from. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, from what Mer- is Mer- We gotta get rid of them. It's a skin infection. Mr. Shaw. A horrible skin yeah. infection. It's like. Thank you, NPR. Um, <laughs> what? Antibiotic resistant, I think. Or it's maybe what happens yeah. when you're Antibiotic resistant. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Well, Don't great. get MRSA. Let's just talk about <laughs> weird, nasty skin diseases. I'd love to. The whole time. You want to yeah, talk about scabies? <laughs> Internal scabies. parasites. You ever had an itchy butthole? <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> no, Don't do it. it. <laughs> Preparation H. Are you sponsored? Uh-huh. We need to contact them. Yeah, they wouldn't even touch us. They won't contact you. They'd be like, no contact, no skin contact, no nothing. No nothing. The asshole people won't even touch us. <laughs> They're like, we're not, we're not going to back you up, man. I really wish that yourself. was like their slogan, uh, Preparation H. 
can't touch it <laughs> <laughs> or it won't touch it i You're guess not veiny yeah. enough yet <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Uh. that's just grody yeah. no man mm. but stuff molly <laughs> uh welcome michael thank you a, a friend of the show and been on quite welcome a few and back. we know a lot about mike yeah. We don't know a lot about you. Can you tell us a little bit about what Molly does on a day-to-day basis? What's Molly do? What, what is Molly about? I am about all sorts of things. So I work with the ASPCA in animal transport, taking critters from disasters or hoarding situations from not so great places to fantastic places. Um, so my job is super rewarding. I love it every day. And um, other than that, basically anything weird I can get into. Weirdness, weirdness, weirdness. Like, She'll find it. Um, I'm about, I've been urbexing for the last 15 years. Um, what the and fuck is what's that? that? Yeah, you got Urban ahead. exploring. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, urban exploration. So uh, you've seen all the YouTube kids with the abandoned buildings. What the fuck and is YouTube? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that like Ebola? <laughs> yes, yes, very much so. <laughs> Please subscribe, by the way. Um, so, urbexing is um, just exploring <laughs> abandoned structures. Uh, okay, cool. A lot of people are interested in just like, why mm-hmm. are some of these buildings abandoned? Yeah. Like, I've been in places that had everything left in them that the person had when they died. Damn. And Holy it's shit. like, what happens that one day you're there? And all your things are there, and the next you're gone, and your stuff just sits there for the next 20 and, like, years. like, family don't pick it up? or Yeah. yeah. yeah like, that's a weird one thing house you would particular I went into had a bunch of World War II mem- memorabilia <gasps> mm-hmm. and oh, photographs um, and newspapers in Polish and things that obviously were, you know, from Poland from World War II that no one took. And they had racehorses. There was all these pictures of racehorses. And I mean, just all sorts of things. racehorses were still there. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Just sitting in the field like, someone feed me. That's that's interesting though, because you kind of get a glimpse into somebody you don't know, like a stranger. That's uh, That's that's a wicked feeling. So you're just like kicking in doors? Oh no, no. They're (laughs) always just wide open. Like that particular house had burnt down. yeah. In 2007, actually, the owner uh, died in the fire. Oh, um, nice. uh, so oh. from, from what we could tell, nice. <laughs> from what we could piece together. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, I, I try to do my research once I, you yeah. know, if I have any ability to track down names or anything. But the most recent yeah. one that we did was a hotel in Florida that is this like giant pink monstrosity that was built in 1929. <laughs> Harder um, Hall. Harder Hall. Yes, indeed. <laughs> um, Construction started back on it, but the thing is, is that if you don't have a duct system already within your giant building, that's something that's very cost inefficient to put in. So renovation started and then stopped pretty promptly, and I don't think that there's any actual ability for that building to be rehabbed. But so um, I just wanted to know when you go in and you find like people's stuff. Do you do you do anything about it? Like, I mean, I know there's like not like a, a person to call, but <laughs> well, actually, sometimes <laughs> sometimes there is. The thing is, is that a lot of times, you know, so you know, say you've got one living relative in South Carolina someplace, and they call up and say, "Hey, Grandma's oh. house burnt down." And you're basically like, "Well, send me that check," because you're not yeah. really interested in traveling all the way to right. Kentucky yeah. to yeah. look on through the, the house. Um, yeah. Now, in some cases where destruction is imminent Mm -hmm. i will try to rescue anything that i find historically valuable that's what i was thinking Um, the world war ii stuff i'd be all over that there there are things that i found historically valuable that i know for a fact are getting ready to go into a dumpster that i will rescue and figure out something to do with later i don't know exactly what (laughs) but i do feel like i have a responsibility to do that um i don't know I, i just have an overwhelming curiosity about what makes people leave things i've also been in a house that um it was a bookie. Yeah. And oh, it was a giant cool. house, like oh, one of these shit. giant houses downtown. Yeah. And he had a secret doorway oh, to get out man. of the house super that was cool. oh, in dude. the wall yeah, behind a file sound. cabinet. Dude, that's awesome. And he had all these like old <laughs> phones and like ashtrays. So there's still, so there's still like a stubbed out cigarette and an ashtray next to an old rotary phone that somebody <laughs> used to take bets on like back Damn. in the day. Oh, it's so cool. just, yeah. You know, it, it's just, it's so interesting that, and that, that particular house actually um he never did any renovations and it was still there was still gas light hookups in it which is really interesting so So how do you go about like finding these places well uh 
I'm very curious. Yeah. I'm, I'm a very curious person. <laughs> and um, I do a lot of just, uh, you know, for instance, uh, they're getting ready to do construction on all sorts of things. You find out about it through zoning oh, and you just okay. go say, Hey, what's on that property already? And most of all, sometimes it's an abandoned building. Done. Um, also Google <laughs> earth too. Yeah. Oh, okay. And anything that I'm traveling by, like we just happened yeah. to travel by uh, this abandoned putt putt, uh, like That's golf cool. course. Yeah. Yeah. It was yeah. really a neat place. So there's all the attractions and stuff like that still there. It's very hmm. like, you know, zombie world kind of yeah, situation. For sure. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, there's an a, abandoned mushroom mine down in Olive Hill, Kentucky. What? That's Done. actually, this, super this is big. super it's like easy kind of on the map. Um, yeah. So people go RVing through it all the time because it's huge, huge. Like there, if you, you see mean Jeeps in it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> RVing. Yeah. No, now, people RV, sleep in an RV in there. An RV can fit uh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. You could drive a semi truck through it's it. Wild ass but, families um, drunk just going through. <laughs> that, that's pretty much it. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, people uh, take like four and five Jeeps at a time and just like drive through there and off road it. And, uh, and then flashlight geeks come and. Yeah. Like Look at things. Like are you, <laughs> so lit up, are you ever interested in um, like filming them, like carrying like a headset camera or some shit? That'd oh, be... I mean, I would love to document things like that. Uh, yeah. I just personally, uh, I've got an ancient camera and a and a camera phone, so that's uh, <laughs> that's about all I've got to work with yeah. right at the moment. That could fit yeah. aesthetically, but oh, uh, yeah. old but yeah. shit, old phone. You know, um, there's yeah. always yeah. some sort of an adventure. <laughs> like the whole time that we were in burnt down house, um, occasionally whomever I was in there with would be like, "I heard footsteps right outside," yeah, dude. and I have to admit that I've heard something. I don't know what it was, <laughs> well, but uh, then we find out there were cats. Well, there was a lot of stray cats, <laughs> yeah. but I actually kind of like didn't tell you guys as much that I heard human footsteps as so, well at times. Uh, so. do, you, do you think in those moments of like heightened adrenaline or, or just that, that, that sense you get in there when you're in something new and it's just, you know, everything's heightened, all your senses that you could probably connect with something of like a ghost or a spirit or something like that. As much as it's not in normal everyday things, yeah. I'm a firm believer that that is a possibility. I mean, if, you know, infinite universe. Oh yeah. I think, you know? I mean, when you're that connected to people's things, um, yeah, I feel like, especially, especially the house with the person who died in the fire, yeah. there were a lot of very personal things in that house, her baby's clothes Aww. that were still in a box. Baby's she, hair. Yeah. Her baby's hair, well, really like you know, from, like, her very shit. personal like, things. Folded up yeah. in like a, a oh, newspaper dude. from Poland. That wow. you know, it yeah, was weird. Wow. <laughs> was weird. I felt I was like, like, don't take that. It wanted, well, no, no, <laughs> not but not I felt like she, you know, would have wanted like her baby's things. So she took the hair. Documented yeah. take at least. <laughs> yes. But then there was one time we were in Bedford and there was a house oh, that had yes. been completely vandalized. I mean, it was vandalized down oh. to the core. But the skeleton key was still in the front door. Oh, and yes. that was one of the only times that I was like, you know what? This is really cool. I'm going to take this as a souvenir. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Well, Wait. about four days later, it's just sitting out in the car. And Mike's like, that had to go. That's weird stuff's uh -huh. been happening since this has been in the house. I don't, I don't like it. And it's got to go. And so, so it went. Dude, that's, <laughs> it's my mom. I mean, did I, the weird shit stop? Yes, it did. Yes, I can it believe did. It. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's, I can totally get behind a, that. She has a straight up haunted house. When I first moved in, <laughs> it like, it doesn't like new things. Apparently, like, yeah. it doesn't when new like people. New yeah, when new people come to the, <laughs> it's awesome. like, uh, I've been uh, touched on the shoulder. Like, she was in the shower one time, and like, I had a full on like big arm like come down and just like you know a comforting touch like on my shoulder, and I'm like, oh man, and I look back and there's no one there. I'm like. Uh, Ooh, maybe it was man. a cat maybe it was a cat and maybe went, it was a cat <laughs> went back she was still in the shower still soaking wet like there was no way it was anybody else and it was like uh, well I guess this is where I live now I don't know like that was like yeah. Yeah. welcome to the house it's maybe, a kind of thing that maybe that's I what it was. wouldn't expect anyone welcome. to believe unless they lived through it yeah. and this uh, I grew up in this house um, I bought it from my parents you know 10 years ago yeah um, but I've lived in it since I was 3 years old and there's just been weird things that have happened for <laughs> Ever, like forever there's no way to explain it to other people and then but then as soon as somebody moves in or out of the house it kind of ramps up in the weirdness and it particularly uh it doesn't like you to be in certain areas of the house 
And there's there's a whole room of my house that though I've lived there since I was three years old, I have maybe only spent about ten minutes in. Wow, because really? It's a uh, there's like an epicenter of where weird things like my daughter's toys um, would go off, and you know I I don't know who has toddlers out there, but. Hmm. You know, toddlers' toys say the same things over and over and over again. Like, I love mommy. They don't oh, deviate what have you done for me lately. From <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it, it's it, if you push toys into this z- like zone of influence, eventually they would start saying it would start mixing up the vocabulary and it would say all sorts of weird Good things Lord. and at one point yeah. mike got so upset yeah. that he he was like this is going in the basement yeah <laughs> <laughs> no we shit, removed everything dude. out of there but but you know it, it sounds so unreal that we don't we never expect anybody to believe it but my whole neighborhood actually has issues um we were a plantation um, so it uh. has all the connotations that a plantation has with it. In fact, the plantation house is still only like a block away from my house. Yeah. And um, it had like historic tunnels underneath it that collapsed about 20 oh, yeah. years ago. And there were uh, there. Yeah. I mean, there was there was things uncovered in it that were disturbing. So, yeah. you know, it's, it's an interesting area. There's like a bunch of graveyards kind of in our neighborhood that yeah. don't even have fences sounds like, like a fantastic that's, area yeah. what the fuck <laughs> well, yeah. saying, it's, in a, it's great for Halloween and yes. it's uh, uh, in a it's not I don't know how to explain J-Town but how would you explain J-Town because they're oh, kind Jefferson of like Town? set what the fuck uh, uh, like they're, they're by themselves We're, J-Town likes to be considered like half its own. country but right on the edge of suburban city life yeah. So, yeah. F- well, so J-Town rewind. J-Town likes to point out that it was actually an incorporated city before Louisville was. And oh, it's yeah, really very do. much like we were here yeah. first. They're, they're really <laughs> tough to, I like to like work before they were cool. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you're an outside company that doesn't or, or whatever, they're they're really mm-hmm. tough and they uh they don't use Louisville's um, inspectors and anything. I mean, I they're didn't know that. yeah, they oh. are very strict. They are very like this is our town like you don't belong here it's not like it's some town in boston it's just some fucking small town like it's, yeah. it's like there's no there's no signature like there's that little proper downtown area but there's yeah. no like we're j-town we're same j-town. families have lived there for a bazillion years That's, so. it's yeah. all very it's cool every time i drive through j-town i'm like what is this fucking place like uh, it's it's but very you, cool like the setup if, the layout of it's it. getting hipper like <laughs> yeah. third turn brewery is oh, the yeah. thing oh, that has shit. like made it super fun yeah. out if there you, yeah. Yeah. If you rewind all the way back to the time of like slaves and plantation owners yeah. and stuff like that, and imagine J Town being a plantation, being farmland, being that like that's just super weird because you would still have Louisville in a certain sense or, or oh, yeah. Portland and mm-hmm. shit like that, but then you'd have these plantations there. So I mean, just think of the migration that we we went from Louisville. And I don't know if they were there first or we were whatever that right. is. Right. Like, that growth you can see from the very beginning when we landed in uh, Louisville to where we are now. We just keep making cities, cities, yeah. cities, cities, Getting cities. Getting bigger. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's just like a cancer that grows on the state. <laughs> That's what we life. are. We're people yeah. are cancer to the earth. That's all. Like a child always growing into way, itself. Man. God, why does it always have to be negative? <laughs> 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 That's um. Well, I've always well, felt no, like right. people yeah. to the earth i mean y- you can kind of see that from like the satellite images and shit like the the earth looks uh unhealthy yeah. where we inhabit it it's just we it looks like a cancer it feels like that oh yeah if you time. look at it at night and like you see all the lit up areas it looks like oh that's a sore yeah Ugh. dude it looks yeah the earth is pissed off i feel like uh, at this point uh-huh. oh i think it's shown uh, us that over yeah. the past two uh-huh. years it's starting to get really <laughs> mad there's a comedian at the beginning of a special he literally is driving around in his limo oh uh joe rogan Mm. Uh, as one of his one of his like early specials but like that's exactly what he's saying he's like we are a cancer of earth it's like oh this is a nice way to <laughs> yeah. start your special yes. yeah. 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 you gotta it's slip like, it in when positive. he can that's uh, but i've always felt i just watched a video talking about uh the permafrost in the the north end of uh the united states and up into iceland and stuff like that the permafrost is melting, yeah. which mm. is insane because they've built all this infrastructure on permafrost, <laughs> thinking that it's going to be there for well, like, yeah, forever. Yeah, it's called permafrost. And it's, uh, like <laughs> now it's releasing, now it's, it's uh, yeah. releasing methane gases and shit like that. It's uh, like hydrogenate, hydrogenated methane gas, and apparently it's no good for our environment. On top of the CO two and shit, but yeah, it's 
Uh, it's baffling, wow. dude. I grew up in doing. Alaska, and there's a picture of me Ooh. in front of a glacier that is no longer there. Aww. Yeah, dude. That yeah. sucks. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Alaska. Yeah. I know. What, what part <laughs> of a- I'm, I'm ancient, by the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What part of Alaska? Kenai. Kenai. Um, it's the what southernmost the peninsula. So it's like it's like Ghost. near the Aleutian Islands, right uh, okay. and like mm-hmm. um, not too far away from Washington State. Gotcha. Yeah. So Super really, bad. the nicest part of Alaska, if you have to live in Alaska. So yeah. <laughs> it was so, really nice. They, we had no, no mail pickup, no garbage. Yeah. Um, and we were at the edge of the nature preserve, and oh, and it was weird. Awesome. It was just such a weird time because. You know, was you know a child, and they were just like going out there and play. There's monsters out there, oh, yeah, yeah. like yeah. straight up, <laughs> like friends bears yeah. and yeah. like moose. Yeah, moose. They moose Dude. were actually scarier than bears. So <laughs> oh, I was thinking like Wendigo so. and shit. <laughs> <laughs> there was like bald eagle They're nests normal. like right okay. near us to where you could like you know as a child They'll you're like you wow up. I could get in that nest that would mm. be really cool. Oh. My dad was like if you want to lose your hair it'll rip all your hair <laughs> out. And he was like oh get scalped. Yeah. <laughs> <It's>, uh, <laughs> were pizza rolls expensive? <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, heard that everything about was weird. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and but you you can get moose sausage on your pizza out there. Fuck yeah. Mm. Yep. So that's a, you know, if you, you know, if you're in Anchorage, no, <laughs> that's the only place that might be, from. uh, that might be where like the explorer side of you or the, the want to go and yeah. like explore yeah. comes oh, yeah. from. Cause uh, I mean, you're on the edge of the na- or, uh, nature preserves. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Kenai nature preserve. So, yep. I mean, that is probably, from yeah. Dirt. And they were just mm-hmm. like, go on out there. You hear now I was, yeah, yeah. I was <laughs> totally <laughs> warned away from the mines in Alaska though, because like, that was one thing. Um, there were gold mines in Alaska oh, okay. and it was, you know, they are totally not safe structures. They really are not safe structures, especially for children. Don't go into a mine shaft. Oh my God. Like, and <laughs> there's like so, a news story every week about a kid falling into a, yeah, a yeah. Shaft like the oldest sort. story. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. And so my dad was definitely like, of all the things you could do, don't do that. Which is funny that it's like, that's now what I do is like, is this building falling down? Oh Please? yeah, dude, the oh, structure. Walk into <laughs> so. it. The structure of some of the videos. I looked at, uh, some of your pictures that you had of the uh, you all exploring. Oh yeah! And some of those structures, man, like the the floor might be given out, the it walls is. might mm-hmm. be given out. Yes, especially yeah, after a fire, and you yeah. can't. Sometimes you can't even see it, like the damage that's because internal. of under. It's under the carpet. Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, so you have to be really, really careful. So anytime you're walking around, you do you you give it a little test. <laughs> you give it a little <laughs> test. Don't <laughs> don't put your weight down on anything particular until you you've given a test. Because there, there's all sorts of buildings that have holes in the floor and. <laughs> in the second floor in fact one building um i actually it was in in creelsboro kentucky i was i was getting aggravated with the people that i was with because they were outside the house screaming at me that's not what one does when they're urbex no. you use, you're, you're quiet and you use tones so you don't get caught <laughs> well they're out there bothering. and so eventually i was like what and i came out of the house and they were like we could see the house move every time you oh, walked bo. it was like oh Okay, well, <laughs> legitimate. Because I was on the third floor of a house from 1860. Ooh. It was like a super old house, and that uh, that area particularly was very old. There was cool stuff in there, like there was textbooks from 1919 Dang. about like psychology and stuff like that. Oh. So Ooh, that'd be interesting. <laughs> it for really sure. would be. Outdated. And like yeah, Kentucky way. geography <laughs> and quilt, quilt so pieces. You have to do a the leeches of so the You just gotta beat them until they start listening <laughs> to you. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> drain their blood so drain until they <laughs> act right. <laughs> yeah. uh, for people who like want to get into that, especially like buildings and structures. Uh, I mean, is it illegal technically to be on the property if it's... So there are rules. If there is a no trespassing sign, you are not supposed to trespass there. It is it is posted. Now, oh, okay. the thing is, so, so yeah, everybody knows you're really probably not supposed to be in somebody else's abandoned building. But there are so many of them that... Basically, nobody, nobody's There's ever going nobody. to purchase these again. Yeah. Like, fuck them. It's abandoned. Yeah, it, what are as they long as do? you, it's, it's kind of like when you're in the woods, leave no trace. Right. Take only <laughs> pictures. As yeah. long as you're not in there being a, a, a little jackass breaking out windows, then go, <laughs> go forth jackass. and document <laughs> whatever you want and, you know, be quiet and polite and leave. And honestly, I have, I've only ever been 
I've only ever once been questioned about what I was doing someplace. And oh. I basically showed the person my camera was like, I take pictures. And they're like, oh, I don't want to no. know. No, <laughs> yeah. I don't want to see your, your Instagram. Go away. They're like, uh, never mind. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, as long as you're quiet and respectful and not, you know, looting the place, nobody cares. Yeah. Like, and, yeah. you know, and I mean, these places are so often so abandoned. And actually, one, there was a place, um, there was an abandoned <coughs> um like mental health, like they called them insane asylums back then. Poorhouse? Um, yes. Poor house. Yes. It was, it was, oh, that's what helped yeah, um, It was called the, <laughs> the Park County uh, Asylum for the Insane. Um, and it was in Indiana, and there was two major buildings, one of which was in use until the 90s. The other one was Lord. in the 1800s. So we're talking where they kept mentally ill people in the 1800s. Looks hysterical like, like women <laughs> an Andy Griffith jail cell it yeah really and one exists. side was women and the other side was men so you can still see on the outside yeah. where it's engraved Man. but there's like big heavy iron bars and, and they each... still had to they still had to heat it with fireplaces though so there's tiny little fireplaces in inside each cell. these little cells yeah, yeah. Oh, so wow. think about how yeah. hot and low and smoky and non-sanitary <laughs> yeah. and how that would just all add to like your mental health issues. Like, yeah, it definitely you wouldn't know. help anything. Crazy that's and for miserable. Sure. Look yeah. at that uh, old psychology books in use right there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. But so then you go into the main building, and what's Trapped disturbing is fire. that <laughs> <laughs> at some point somebody had pulled open. The, first off, why they were storing biohazard containers oh. filled with sharps is beyond oh. my understanding. But they were. And somebody came in and pried them open. You, they don't Ugh. come open. Biohazard containers do not come yeah, open. No. Like you have to pry them open hard, hard. But there was yeah, a whole room mm -hmm. that was covered in two inches of needles, catheters. Oh, they literally um, piled it. In blood used. draws. Like there was also a whole room of Damn. like personnel yeah. files. Like and they, I hear Social they've gotten security rid of that numbers, recently. all this. <laughs> oh wow. But that's I wouldn't do anything else the whole time I was there except just read that read stuff. Them, yeah. yeah. Oh, I know. Like I it's just really fill interesting. my backpack with it. <laughs> now that one we actually had permission yeah. because we happened <laughs> to when we got there the realtor was there. They're like, What do you want to do? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Be yeah. safe. Be uh, safe. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't warn you of all the needles laying around no, or anything. I don't even know if they knew about it. It <laughs> seems like this realtor was just like, Yes, please just buy this. I'm not going in it, but you should. <laughs> <laughs> like it just it seemed like one of the I don't know yeah, maybe if you don't die in there maybe I can look around. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're the test subject. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> you go in first. If, if the super mutants don't get them. Uh, <laughs> have you ever like under have you come board. across any um, like homeless people as far as like squatting there or living there? Yeah. Now, in my early days, I started out urbexing in like Smoketown in Kentucky or in Louisville, oh, yeah. which is like uh, a really terrible place to start urbexing because yeah. there's <laughs> definitely going to be people living in there. Yeah. Um, my and so I I started this adventure with like my beloved sister who's now deceased. Damn it. Um, and one time we were in an abandoned building that we thought was completely empty and we found this notebook of just terrible poetry <laughs> and so we're looking through the poetry book and we're like kind of reading mm -hmm. passages back and forth to each other <laughs> and laughing hysterically and then eventually we hear <clears throat> oh, shit. dude was there he was just in the other room trying to be quiet so he didn't scare us yeah. until, you know. The homeless we poetry. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, I mean, my God. So we were like, oh, please excuse us. And we're, uh, but yeah. Like can I heartfelt take heartfelt this with shit. me? <laughs> yeah. And um, so they used to live in abandoned buildings. Um, they uh, lived in this abandoned carpet um warehouse down in Smoketown and they all built rooms out of like milk crates basically you just put all your stuff in milk crates and like build a room out Damn. of it but like yeah somebody the lava house? no that no. wasn't the lava house that was a different place no. um but they would have like big punk rock shows and stuff in there and the at one poetry point, guys or the just in um, general lava mm. was um it was a house for artists and back in like 2002 Oh, I or you. something. So like a hundred yeah. years ago, mm -hmm. but it burned oh, okay. down. Um, so the actual uh, one place of the... was where they did that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You yeah. had me wondering what year it was. Now I was like, yeah. oh, God, <laughs> what was that? <laughs> <laughs> I know. It did twenty twenty one. We're in the future already. <laughs> so, We've made it. I don't understand hyperbole. <laughs> <laughs> 
yes. <laughs> no, that was, I, you definitely should look into. I mean, it's do- documented that the pictures are awesome, but uh, you know, video to try to like bring that image mm-hmm. to other people because. Uh, that's interesting. A lot of people don't want to get the fuck off their couch, but they'd love to to view right. that and to be yeah. a part of it. Yeah. Well, every time she does a video, it's just ruined by somebody being like, Molly, don't go in there. <laughs> <laughs> and it's usually me. Or, so we have, actually, my favorite video was from Burnt Down House. They had this great basement that was so creepy. And so I'm doing my creepy <laughs> walkthrough, and I turn and my camera starts to adjust and I notice that there is a person in the room. Ooh. It's Mike. Oh. Oh. He didn't announce himself. <laughs> and Jesus. so my video is just silent, silent, silence, and then me going, <gasps> You should have noticed you, Mike. You should have noticed if, if it's somebody with a flashlight, it's me. You didn't have a flashlight on. You were standing there in the dark. Like, it's just well, waiting. I suppose I deserve it. Breathing heavily. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was out of batteries, I guess. Uh, like, I found this cloak. I thought it would be cool to show you. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> terrifying. But yeah, it, there's all sorts of this interesting historical places in Kentucky that are, are, are just rather abandoned. I mean, you know, there's the uh the first ymca in frankfurt mm-hmm. like it's it's an abandoned oh, yeah. structure and it's gorgeous i mean it's absolutely beautiful and <laughs> you know it's not something that you want to get into and think you're not going to get hurt because you probably are you definitely need a tetanus shot like is this, <laughs> i am up to date on that <laughs> God, I'm yeah. doomed. is the state just like wanting to leave them there until they fall so they don't have to deal with them or do people not want to put money back into the city in those parts i mean i don't absolutely like a lot of these are family homes that you, that something happened somebody probably got an insurance check and they went and bought uh, a new house and they just, I mean, all about you it. know, demolition's really expensive. So yeah. unless you're dealing with like a housing market, like right now, mm. right. like nobody's interested in a piece of property that's got a dilapidated house on it. Give like, it 50 huh. years, yeah. the hipsters will fix it. <laughs> <laughs> feel, that's right. I feel like you could probably, with, especially homes that were like 1930s and 1940s or, or below, they were built with, I mean, the materials were just ridiculously strong. Like the yeah. even the oh, uh, yeah. this was like 1940s, and the wood in it, uh, they're, they're actually two by four fours, and you'll burn up bits just trying to drill one hole because yeah, they're solid. They're, they're solid. Yeah. It's, it was the wood was solid. New houses, the wood is grown super quick, and it's. Uh, whatever it's flimsy yeah. pretty much kick plastic. through it yeah <laughs> it oh yeah half plastic basically <laughs> older homes just <laughs> seem to be built better and that's what you could probably take all the shit that's built on the foundation use the foundation mm. with a new home you know with a new footprint but yeah. oh absolutely well actually oh another place is the abandoned brick factory that's a great oh, place yeah. too yeah. Yeah. so it's like do you need bricks we've got bricks we got bricks in the kiln we've got bricks outside oh, yeah, the hill is dude. made of bricks yeah. there, nobody cares either people go up there and shoot off guns and drive that's, you know that's actually <laughs> honestly that a good quads and stuff uh, like it's that. Uh, off shots. of gene snyder <laughs> off of is it stone street Oh, we're not supposed to be giving out locations, but <laughs> it's so easy to figure out. But All you have to do is Google abandoned brick factory. Yeah, yeah, I think <laughs> yeah. you'll figure it out. You like. <laughs> but that's actually like a really good like. Uh, do you want to try this out? It's a yeah. very good intro. Very oh, good nice. intro to it's, Urbex. It's very yeah, not scary. And if you do get bugged with, it's like people that live in the holler right next to it and they're like oh we're the security here it's like uh, sure you are as long yeah, again yeah. as long as Those you're not guys. spray painting anything or destroying anything they don't care what you're doing okay, makes awesome. go and take pictures just oh like, yeah ooh. pictures are awesome there yeah you oh, can get yeah. all the way to the top of that building like through like the rafter system and you're like 40 feet up in the air it's really crazy mm-hmm. looking. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. and Bunch there's just cool yeah it's it's really a neat place yeah. to, to go check out a bunch of trails in the back of it yeah too. a bunch of trails yeah. like like uh, so you guys gonna put out a book? Uh, right. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's coming out next year. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, I watch a guy that does uh, diving. It's kind of, oh, you know okay. like exploring uh, streams and and waterways, whatever. But he'll find guns. He finds uh, yeah. just a grenade one time. Like <laughs> just the weirdest crazy. shit. Yeah, I don't know if he puts it there and then like, oh, look at this. But it looks worn and fucked up. So yeah. Yeah. I'd assume that he's finding it on oh, the spot. Yeah, probably. I mean, yeah. I mean he's way, shit. you know, way in there. And, and then he uses it. Yeah, I do. <laughs> yes. like, I'll usually, save this for later. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> usually he'll turn it over to like the authorities or some shit because he's super like nervous, especially with the grenade was uh, the weirdest one I think no I've shit. seen. But 
Um, yeah, I just I didn't know if they, when you said brick factory, I thought you meant like a factory made out of bricks, but they uh, made bricks. They made oh, yeah. bricks. Yeah. So there's a giant also like bricks. <laughs> yes, <laughs> made of bricks. There's still a tons of tons and tons of pallets with bricks like that were ready to ship what? out. Like yeah. It's so it's all on damn. railroad tracks, and the kiln oh. is also on in like there's railroad tracks in the kiln, and so there's just like oh, so just, truckloads and yeah. truckloads of bricks that were being fired in the kiln that they were like last day here, bye, turned off the power. Yeah. left that's so i'd <laughs> love to be there for that that's last cool. day just yeah. so that, like i always talk about being a fly on the wall in history like just to see like did they all just like hang up their hard hats and like fuck it we're out of here you know it yeah they did seems like it, yeah because there, there was a, still lockers yeah. with um like people's like family pictures and stuff like that hung up in their locker Aww. and so you could tell like this that's is what crazy. this guy went to work for is yeah. his little grand babies and is there stuff any like, like busted bottles of vodka or anything absolutely well <laughs> so <laughs> what there <laughs> is is about <laughs> seventy five thousand cat that's food a good number cans. yes like, that's a good like, number. Because like that's like, like if I'm actually trying to give a realistic number of how many cat food cans, that's how many cat food cans I think there really is. A that's amazing. Um, and I, <laughs> I don't like know who's putting, yeah, somebody's putting the, somebody's feeding the stray cats out there, yeah, but yeah. Uh, it's like, wow, that's, well, that's a yeah. lot. Feeding so. them real well. <laughs> yes, there's, there's only <laughs> one <laughs> cat. <laughs> but if you run into a homeless guy out there, you're like, get out of here. <laughs> It's my yeah. salmon treat. <laughs> yes. We've only really ran into spray painters one time, and then uh, then the the hillbilly security guards. And it's yeah. just like, sure, your security, yeah. But yeah. Again, that full camo is your. You know, uh, as long as you're <laughs> respectful and you know polite and not hurting anything, really nobody cares. Like yep. it's uh, it's nice. you know, it's got so. parking. It's really convenient. Yeah, it does have parking. <laughs> it's really, convenient. really, it's awesome. They've got ballet still working. Yeah. <laughs> hillbilly <laughs> security comes in. Do you guys? validate <laughs> yeah. I don't know what you mean boy I don't even know. <laughs> but actually as far as that last time leaving that is something that is a big part of my fascination with these places is because oh, for yeah. instance if you see keys hung up on a hook in the kitchen someone didn't put those keys there thinking that was the last time they were ever going to touch right. them like they thought <laughs> they were going to pick those keys back up again and yeah. I do have like the only project the only project I've ever put my mind to to be like, this is going to be a project. <laughs> I do have some dear friends of mine who are having to abandon a house. The structure is no longer safe. Um, it's in the absolute middle of nowhere, mm. but it's not so far in the middle of nowhere that people aren't going to find it. And so I'm Ooh. going to document the day that they leave. And oh, then yeah. we're going to, we're going to go back out there, you know, over the course of months and then years and document it's, uh, it's oh, returned back to the earth. You're yeah. documenting uh, the life of the house. Yeah. I love that. It's the downfall, but yeah. It's the yeah. life yeah. motherfucker. It's part of it. Oh, the house has a, the house has a cool history. It was a, a bunch of homesteaders that were trying to, uh, like they, they didn't want power. They wanted to just like live off the land and everything. The water mm. comes from yeah. a stream. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. And there was, like they have one bad winter and they're like we're not that homesteady <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then they just uh they yeah. donated it and the the place that he works for actually puts him up in that place and now they're like well we don't want to fix it so you just well gotta yeah. Yeah. you know it's a lot to maintain it's absolutely a to it's maintain. a big house it's so, uh, uh it's, like uh, a it's also a five yeah. mile gravel road yeah. to the house I think that it's you actually have to maintain seven, seven miles like 17, <laughs> it's like 17 minutes from the entrance to the house Damn, to get there. That is dude. insane. You're That's, driving like um, five miles per hour. You know, uh, put in a retrospect, like it's everything that we want to fix on this house that is operable <laughs> and okay, like it just seems like every time you fix one thing, you have to fix 10. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. For the one thing. Yeah. It's, it's insane. Yeah, that's and now they've got termites. Not done. I mean, oh, yeah. <laughs> and that's, that's kind of the unbeatable. Oh, yeah. like, yeah. Especially you're, when they're too bad. Yeah, yeah. they're pretty bad. Yeah, because yeah. like, you, can, you can fight them in the beginning, I guess, yeah. but uh, you got to catch them. Quick. Oh, they yeah. did not. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's, uh, like, yeah. it's rough. Yeah. It's like an ant farm terrarium in one of the Oh, oh termites. Ant farm oh, terrarium. I'd yeah. fucking kill myself. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I do. Yeah. Yeah. That's, um, Sounds terrible. I hate that, but like with pests, like I hate killing shit, but uh, I mean, I put down pest stuff like all the fucking time just uh, to make sure we don't get, you know, because we live in the country. Right. Is, yeah. You know, and uh, they're prevalent, man. It's yeah, especially yeah, in care, that means man. more. Yeah, and wasps. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fuck wasps. Yeah. We are not a home to wasps. I tell no. you that right now. No, 
<laughs> bees can co- you know cozy up, but fuck a <laughs> yeah, wasp. Dude, yeah. Fuck a wasp. <laughs> bees are they serve a purpose. Wasps um, are dicks. And yeah. We, we, we won't be really having are. that. Yeah. There's no. They're just rude. <laughs> I'm just not having it. I saw a video the other day. I forget if it was if it was a wasp or a hornet, but it, it walked into this this bee area, mm. and like. It snatched up one of the bees, and then like hundreds of bees just swarmed it, yeah, fucked them up. Swarm. It's so good. It I definitely wasp. thought yeah. that was gonna yeah, go a different way. Wasp will absolutely rob uh, hives. We used to keep bees as well, and there was yeah, that's another thing. So bees is, is, is like an old house. Like yes. you want to fix one thing just to fix another thing, just to fix another thing. Have yeah. some bees. Have some like, bees, and then wait for them to just die over the winter. Or it's like we tried everything. Like we really did. And what a grand into of having bees. I've like, wanted is to the do honey it. that good, or are you just oh, fascinated honey is that good. by bees? But it's not the, worth it. No, it, it absolutely <laughs> is worth it. Really? It's so, it like, if you have allergies, <laughs> like, local honey is just the, That's the what, cure for yeah. it. But, yeah. We've heard that a lot that uh, local honey helps your allergies. Absolutely. It yeah, totally it, does. It's and it's just their local neat. local honey cures cancer. <laughs> yeah, but you don't have to have bees to get local honey. That is true. That yeah. is you got true. raccoon honey? So sell me. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. That raccoon I don't know. honey. Hold a store. <laughs> That's raccoon milk. <laughs> Well, well, before COVID, if you wanted to put on a disgusting. mask and keep people away from you, <laughs> it wasn't socially acceptable. So if you're a beekeeper, you could put on a whole outfit and be like, go away. Yeah. I have all these bees. And people are like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay, uh, bye. Somebody, <laughs> somebody needs to explain something to me, which we kind of talked about it before. But uh, COVID, like one day they were just like, oh, the vaccines are out. And then they were like, it's okay to not wear your mask when oh, yeah. uh, you get the vaccine. It's okay. You can do that. And now I haven't seen, I still wear mine just because I've used to it and I, I haven't mine. been vaccinated. Yeah. But especially out here, I don't see not one person doing Mm-mm. it. And no you way. hear about like the. Because the honor system is garbage. Yeah. It is fucking garbage. We That's went, what we talked about with the insurance companies. We definitely lose our fucking money. Yeah. And people are going to get sick again, dude. Oh, I yeah. feel it coming, I think. No, well, well, the Delta variant. We know two people. We know two people that had the Delta variant. Yeah. Already? Fully vaccinated. Yeah. They yeah. had the Pfizer. Uh, they got the Pfizer in February and they uh, both have the Delta variant. Cite up their in, uh, article, Cincy. Mike. Yo, and they're like, did they, so did they wear <laughs> KPO? I don't know. Cincinnati, whatever their fucking news channel Did they is. wear um, the mask after they were vaccinated? Wear the mask everywhere. <laughs> now, he is a bartender. Um, she is a teacher. But, you know, they, they definitely, like, wore the mask, like, yeah. even after vaccination and everything. Even the... So crazy. Even man. when we went to OVW uh, wrestling, that local wrestling yeah, spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. It's so fun. <laughs> yeah. But we were the only people wearing masks, only. and uh, we were looked at. More than a wrestler. Oh, yeah. They're like, oh, what's yeah. going on? Don't over make there? you yeah. look yeah. good. Do not like, trust us. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. I don't understand why it's like you're shunned. Or so, like, I only say out here because uh, a majority of the people that lived out here for uh, quite a long time are a little bit redneck, a little bit... Uh, country if you will rock and roll yeah. thank you mm, damn you <laughs> <laughs> sorry and, uh, that's um something like when you go into a store so, and they didn't even have to say like you're good but right when the vaccines come out just people were like fuck this i'm not wearing it and i'm just like which a variant at this time it's crazy that we already have a variant coming in in one year just like it's crazy we well, have a I vaccine in like one three. year I yeah mean, and uh um, I just don't understand how they just went from no mask to uh, like that quick. Yeah. You know, and they're just begging for that shit to happen to us. Yeah, well, I mean, well, I mean come on. We're giving away the million dollars. It's over, guys. <laughs> Everything's <laughs> fine. Yeah, Go true. back, spend money. <laughs> please. Yeah. I don't we were know. in Florida a few weeks before Kentucky <laughs> lifted its mask mandate, and there was <laughs> no the body, no single no body one. down in Florida was no, wearing Florida a mask. Was I'll tell you that. Like Florida, the whole yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> I, that's what I was going to say. The whole time, even when there was the mask mandate, I yeah. guarantee they didn't wear a mask. Yeah. That's how it was yeah. in Georgia. We yeah. went uh, camping oh, one. Yeah time and no one in georgia was wearing them and again they were looking at us crazy oh yeah because we were wearing them they also had like a hundred churches within one mile they definitely of each other like it was a lot of churches (laughs) we started counting and it was just the the amount of uh, churches was ridiculous we ran out of fingers that they believe that (laughs) every as long as they pray (laughs) and pay tithes absolutely that's what it was Yeah. yeah they were like if i pay my tithes and i pray a whole lot 
I'll never get the. the I can't tell you how many COVID. stories I saw that were that exact thing. Well, that's preacher, the most reasonable thing. <laughs> oh yeah. Preacher who said that you know God will protect me dies of COVID. Passes yeah. away. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Passes away. That's uh, that's a rough one to die from. That's just like uh, Pentecostal dudes dying from a uh, snake bite. Yeah. You know? yeah. I can't believe it. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I can't believe this happened. <laughs> Not to me. <laughs> no, that's um. No, I was just bringing that up because it's just it it's just seems ridiculous to me. And uh, but it does it does scare me though that uh, a virus can have a variation that quickly. Like it can adapt and overcome that quickly yeah it's 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 odd yeah and then know? early on they kept being like oh well you know mutating is a good thing it's good it's making it weaker every time doesn't seem like it. absolutely it seem not like no it like <laughs> it for sure for sure has gotten worse oh, every time will kill it It'll get weaker <laughs> yeah. as it goes yeah. Yeah. i think uh, uh eventually because we're driven by the 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 profit uh capitalism whatever yep. you want to call it and I feel like that's the whole reason why this is going right and they're pushing it is to get the system working again. Trying to restart it, yeah. Yeah, and I feel like we're going to we're gonna come to a point where there is no moving forward. It's going to be the, uh, the world is going to give you enough hurricanes and landslides and uh, deforestation. Deforestation. Yeah, I couldn't that's, say yeah. that for shit. <laughs> this is a mouthful. Just say it real uh, fast and no one can tell. <laughs> deforestation. Deforestation. <laughs> But, uh, so okay, so <laughs> using the house analogy, <laughs> there's always something broken on the house, always something broken on the bees. Now there's always something broken on the earth to the point where yeah. how you gonna fix it all? Burn it down. Move. I think they're oh. gonna move to Elon Musk. <laughs> Mars it up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's why they're pushing so hard yeah. to move to Mars because all your uh, elites, if you will, or higher ups, billionaires, stuff like that, can pay to m- just go there until you know the shit. Until they fuck going. it up there. Yeah, Martians ain't got no diseases. I told hey, I told Sarah they were like, uh, we watched the thing was like, look at all these pictures coming out uh, about Mars and stuff, and like, they were like, if there was a Martian, we would have seen them. I'm like, if you, w- if there was a Martian, they would be putting your little probe in a simulation, taking all these pictures on a treadmill, yeah. and you know, I think they're there. They're just putting your probes on a uh, or whatever. You, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Are we talking about anal probes? Yes. Where are we? <laughs> Always. <laughs> okay. okay. Now, like aliens. It's uh, only ones I know. But that's I, I don't know how well that'll work. And I always feel like when they say, "Oh, we're gonna go and uh, terraform Mars or whatever," it's gonna take them decades to do that. Like, yeah. Why does Elon Musk give a shit about going to Mars so badly? When it won't Mars. be in his lifetime that we it'll, get there. It'll be in his lifetime. Come on. You get him, I Richard have Branson, to be in and his Jeff lifetime. Bezos working together. Come on. <clears throat> like, I think it will have to be because the way it's going, it seems like 2050, 2070, it's going to be too hot. That's what they said. Uh, that 2050, <laughs> By 2050, you'll feel the full extent of the damage we've done. If we don't, like, and even if we did Yeehaw. zero, like, no emissions at all from here on out, you would still, still feel the feel damage. It, yeah. yeah. We've already passed the... The, the too far to turn back whatever yeah, yeah it's uh, and then everybody's just like <clears> well <throat> i mean we got netflix and air conditioning what's the problem <laughs> I know, I know, dude. <laughs> it's fine it makes sense. everything's okay <laughs> yeah i've thought about that too i was gonna uh present this to sarah and just have like a day to a week i think uh, at most but do a, do a day or a week where we either shut down the power and do without, mm-hmm. or at least take the TVs off the walls and put them in uh, like the garage or somewhere that we won't just pick them up, put them back on the the wall and do it. Like how how hard would that be? And I, I got to think about it. It'd be really tough. We're actually on like day four of that. We uh we we got fed up with uh who was who is it? It's Spectrum. Spectrum. Yeah. yeah oh, Spectrum yeah. raised their rates and yeah. they wouldn't budge on going back down to the price that we yeah. were at Spectrum eats and ass. so we we're just like oh well we're moving and we're gonna just call you back in two weeks and get it turned on but man being without the internet is yeah. like you don't you don't think about like oh mm-hmm. i fall asleep every night watching this walk through paris or walk you know this yeah. walk through Hell indonesia yeah. or something like yeah. that and now you're like, well, I guess we're going to read <laughs> <laughs> this same book again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Read it slower this time in a voice. <laughs> We've all been in just voice. sitting around staring at each other. Yeah, dude. The dogs are staring at us. Like, I've thought about, about like, what do you do during um, like dinner is when we most of that's where our peak watching TV happens is mm-hmm. like dinner time. Um, we do stuff up to then, but like, what would you do during dinner 
when there's nothing else going on. Like, I guess you could talk to each other. Yeah. That's with your mouth full. Yeah, well, we've got, an, we've got an extra adult in the house, so that is helpful sometimes when it's not just, like, you and your partner, like, oh, we know yeah. everything about each other. It's like there's a third person <laughs> to be like, I have different things to say, and it's like, well, good. Um, <laughs> it that all go so far. <laughs> so it's like, is this like eventually, it's like, I know all the things you're going to say, too. Um, but uh, yeah. What gun are you going to talk about now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a new one? No. Okay. But he's a good internet <laughs> DJ and is addicted to his phone, so sometimes he's still telling stories. But no, there's a lot of looking at books. Mm -hmm. um, I'm yeah. actually an avid reader, and you know, there's a lot of just staring out the window. We have chickens, and because of the because of the the corvid fungus, I don't know if you guys are familiar. Right now in Kentucky, um, our blue jays and oh, the crows, birds. yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah they're they're having like a really bad time. We're hoping that it is related to the cicada emergence because they can take a hit every 17 years. But if this is just a new thing, Damn, <laughs> if this is just yet a new thing to screw the earth, then <laughs> uh, you know, better take a picture of a blue jay because they ain't gonna be around forever. Yeah. Um, but so be around in Canada. The yeah. Poor things were like swelling up I and know. stuff. It was terrible. Damn, but yeah. so they told everybody to take in their bird feeders, and yeah. you know, because people that feed birds love birds so they did but you know we, we should do we starve them to death oh no <laughs> oh no it's that's a good they'll, idea they'll live forever <laughs> social distancing bird style that is true and that's, that's, that's what it was meant but hands. so we've got these chickens so we can't not feed the chickens we got to feed the chickens so now it's just become like mad max out there like every bird species <laughs> is out there fighting for this corn they're, they're fighting the chickens yeah that's like, rough to the, see the yeah. cat's yeah. out there just lurking yeah yes. she's oh, yeah, killed dude. every species Species of beautiful. She killed a. Uh, <laughs> she killed cardinal. a cardinal. She killed yeah, a downy right. woodpecker. There's a. She, there's a big uprising of. Uh, so there's a certain mold or bacteria that's um, eaten uh, the the most whatever eaten uh, banana. The one that we grow the majority oh, yeah. of. No. The banana. But I, yeah. I forget uh, what the the bacteria is called. But with GMO products, they don't have seeds to reseed the earth with that certain banana yeah. so it has no seeds they have to take clones every time they go to grow so if it's overtaken by that bacteria well we're headed for no bananas the ones that are in your whatever they're called mm -hmm. their species yeah. um they're getting to a point where it's going to be no more because the bacteria is taking over and it's getting just worse as we fuck the world up you know yeah. the bacteria can spread better yeah. I don't know. So the banana it's has its own type of like COVID happening. Yeah, yeah. dude. It seems Such like seems like the birds are going through their shit too. That's ain't yeah. that ridiculous? That's yeah. is that and not a sign? Let's just the avocados how, how are we attached get more to depressing? gang violence. Yeah. What are they? Let's get more <laughs> yeah, like oh, there's oh yeah, yeah, avocado yeah. cartels. It's true shit. It, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Basically, every place that avocados are grown. Uh, there's some cartel involvement. They're getting their cut. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like. A, <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, it is. Like I know, it's like, it's like there's got to be something good going on though. Some, there's some, uh, there's somewhere out here, I don't know there's, what. There's something going on good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Take some minutes to think about it. Like <laughs> I, I sure hope so, but I can't. I swear, just everything you is know, terrible. You know that's, why? Yeah, that's really that's, sad. That's why I like going to work. It's like I, so. I, I used to be a, 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 a dental technician. Yeah. And that just really wasn't all that satisfying for the soul. Yeah. And I if can't uh, if the world's gonna be a flaming pile of poop. I can't be at work and it being a flame, flaming pile. No, of food. So I, uh, I make about half of what I make at the dental office, but, oh, but uh, I feel like I'm doing a thing. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. not it's just helping the critters. Than... I'm helping the people mm -hmm. that yeah. are helping the critters. And that's you know. uh, the, I think the, the selling point of bad news and, and how bad it's going to get and all okay. that. Look at like Netflix is full of like, disaster <laughs> documentaries or murder yeah. documentaries or protest documentaries everything is just so it sells so good i love murder yeah i, I do can't. too yes. yeah, that's great it. all yeah. the murder all she runs Every she's one. ran out of murder podcasts that's yeah. how much she likes murder <laughs> yeah, yeah all of them like yeah, yeah that's all awesome. serial killers i know female i read criminals, about all of them i okay. read about it every night before i go to sleep <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wow, he raped a lot of children. That's yeah. Good night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Guess I'll roll over and go to bed now. <laughs> Wonder if anybody's topped that. <laughs> I swear. Says oh. he was last seen in J-Town. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
<laughs> well, if you like murders, outdoor disasters might be up your area too. Uh, like if you're the outdoorsy ooh. kind of person and are interested in hearing about interesting things like rock climbing trips that have gone terribly, terribly yeah, wrong. Yeah. Absolutely. Like it's stuff I only want to hear about stuff I'm not gonna do though. If you're yeah, just like right? if you're like kicking it and get bit by a rattlesnake like in Kentucky, I don't wanna hear that story. That's scary. <laughs> no. But you know, if you're surfing and get lost, oh that's an interesting story because hey, ain't never gonna be on no damn surfboard. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> Look, and I love to swim in the ocean, and I think every time I'm in it, oh. though, I think about getting swept the away, tide, yeah. and oh, I'm, I die real quick. I know. And yeah. there's, there's damn sea monsters out there. There's all kinds of crazy oh, there shit out is, there. Yeah. Like My animal will step on a giant stingray. Yeah, we saw a stingray well, as big as this table in, whoa. in Florida. Like right under Mike's feet. Yeah. I was like, oh my uh, God. yeah. That's what I was going to say is they're not even like that far down. They hang out like on the coastline. <laughs> coast yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's where Nuts. all the food is. Yeah. There was and porpoises <laughs> pulled up to me. So we were, so we were on a, an island called Kea Costa and you have to get a ferry out to it or you take a boat. right. Um, Yay. We were pronouncing but, it wrong the whole time. And <laughs> 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 yeah. so they have a Australian style rat infestation. Oh, so, no. uh, so it's very secluded right now because the locals know that it is not a place you really want to go kick it. Um, no because shit. like we, oh, we got jacked for all, every piece of food we brought with us. Yep. Uh, in by the rodents. Minutes. By the rodents. They, they yeah. ate to the soft side cooler. Yeah. And yeah, then they were like literally the fighting Quickly. us for food at night. And yeah. then there was yeah. also like red Before ants sunset. and biting flies. Oh, and fuck that. Oh, <laughs> so woohoo. But so no people. Like that was the whole thing. Ever. No people. Oh. But so these porpoises, like I'm by myself on nine miles of beach. Everybody else is just someplace on the other side. And <laughs> these porpoises are like, hey, how's it going? And like dogs, <laughs> like dogs you don't know when they want something from you, they have kind of like a look. They're like, hey. Yeah. Uh-huh. And this porpoise just swam up to me and was like, hey. Well, I didn't know. Apparently, like people do just like feed them fish and give them treats and stuff like that i i did not know that to me yeah. i'm like hi sea monster <laughs> yeah no, i'm not because i could have just been like i'm jumping and swimming in with the porpoises and, oh, yeah. and i'm a naturey kind of gal so a lot of people are like we well, believe you didn't do that no 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 it can no. take me with it no thank you yeah. like, Fuck that. i'm not There's... getting fucked to death in the ocean <laughs> no yeah exactly <laughs> i've some... seen that dolphin documentary man <laughs> right there's some terrifying things in the ocean I extraordinarily yeah, really. terrifying oh, i mean it's a whole nother planet really yeah like deep definitely. enough down there's shit that we still haven't discovered it's that's mm-hmm. i'm not real fond of gar like anybody in oh, kentucky no. that does Fuck paddling them. like no thank you won't you. even touch a catfish no i don't like catfish either no <clears throat> i don't like oh, certain things catfish. i'm not a oh, it's the oh, moustache <laughs> they are not cuddly they're so gross looking only in the water <laughs> they're little whiskers <laughs> Yeah, because otherwise they're dead, and it's awesome. <laughs> well, that's uh, when we go to to the beach. Sarah go way out there and like to where the water's like up here and oh, shit. God, but I, I mean, it. surfers or even paddle boarders <laughs> that are right up against the 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 coast, man, mm-hmm. are getting shark like sharks are attacking them. And I'm like, Sarah's definitely gonna die because there's no mm-hmm. fight in her at that. When yeah. you have water up to here, there's no way you can fight a fucking shark. Uh, look in the well, thing. that riptide can take you four times. The That's what I would. Yeah, mm-hmm. at that point you had no. Yeah, there's. I'm a nervous do. wreck when she time. does it, dude. I'm fucking. Europe. I hate the, it. The thing that I stop. Can I run a jet ski now? <laughs> it's so stupid. I very easily could die out there, and I've started it. I get weird about things touching my feet now, like the idea of anything in the ocean touching my feet. So I was like, I could get those little shoe thingies that you can wear in the ocean. Like, yeah, and that's crocs. what I think about. Mm, crocs, yeah. <laughs> I need to get something to cover my foot. Just go out there with some flippers and then you can come back and not have shit Quicker. touch your yeah. feet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck that. That's a good idea. <laughs> I know Those are that's a great idea. that's all I can think about. I'll go up like to my waist. And sometimes I'll go out there far, but uh, I just know, man. And and nowadays, like sharks are getting fucking like dangerous out there. Mm-hmm. Even like coasts and never had a problem with it are getting dangerous. They're oh, yeah. fed up. They're like, we're gonna eat some of these humans. Hell yeah. Come off this fucking planet. Because everybody pees in the ocean and they're That's done. Like, they're pissed uh, like, we'll follow you for blood, but now we see pee, it's over, buddy. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I almost got Mike killed about the first year we were together uh, because I am a Kentucky naturalist. I can You can put me out in the woods, I'm fine. I know nothing of the coast or the water. I did not oh, realize yeah. the tide. Like I thought it's uh, like if it was high tide now, it'd be low tide then, and it never goes back up. I don't know what I was uh-huh. thinking. 
<laughs> so we were out on a a breaking wall is what I found out basically. It's a wave break wall. We thought yeah. it was called um, a peligro, which just means danger in Spanish. It sure does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, we're it like, sure let's go does. out on that peligro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. There were pelicans out there. The so best thing I've and, ever heard. You know, and the ocean <laughs> stuff looks born. closer than it really is. And so we, yeah. we're walking and we're walking and we're walking and we're walking. And then after a little while, Mike was like, I think the water's coming up. And I was like, no, oh, it's fine. Fuck. And I'm like, he was like, okay. Well, then I started to notice, wait a minute, there's barnacles on this rock. Uh, if there's barnacles on this rock, and so we'd already seen a sign that said dangerous currents and sharks. We were about two miles out in the middle of just the ocean Damn, water, just, yeah. just on on just something that was about you know quick walk. You're four foot. On rocks. Yeah, you're like yeah. clambering on loose rocks that are only maybe four foot wide in the middle of the ocean. Shit. And so when I was like, oh no, actually the water is coming back up. And uh -huh. on the Atlantic coast, it comes in a whole heck of a lot faster yeah. than it does and down higher. in Florida. Uh -huh. Like, oh, I thought it comes out like super slow. So it, I mean, it's a quick draw, right? In Florida, it's super slow, but yeah. on, in North Carolina, it yeah. it's like bam, like good. it's like yeah. I mean, it was uh, you got three hours max. So I we basically, up. I was yeah. like, Two miles all right, away. well, any flat spots? We should uh, we should run probably. And you know, he looked like he was gonna cry. By the time we I made it back to where <laughs> he probably I know I tears of joy. <laughs> <laughs> where we had been hanging out was like six foot underwater and it was just like, oh, okay. Yeah. Well, so, yeah, but then we're... on the way back from there, we like start being like, Oh shit, we need to like really start booking this shit. You know, that's when she had, she was like, When you start running when we see flat spots, uh, this fucking <laughs> swarm of I don't think that's what they're called, the pelicans. Yeah, just like coming towards us, and we're like, "Oh, that's so cool!" And then they're getting closer, and we're like, "I think <laughs> so they're gonna cool. knock our heads off." Yeah, fuck with you. Oh yeah, they have totally knocked us off. So I ended up uh, going from crouched, like, "Oh, look at the beautiful birds," to like jumping up and waving and yelling, "Bad bear!" Bad because bear. that's <laughs> where I'm from. <laughs> Bad bear. I don't. Know. That's um. I always. I feel like if I was dropped off in the woods, that I'd be okay. Which you don't know until I guess you do it and you have no way out um i've been trying to like go hiking or camping more with a buddy of mine who don't get a lot of time to do that right mm -hmm. but like i feel like i could oh, but yeah. i also feel like there's a lot of things that are out there that can fucking kill you it's not <laughs> yeah. like hiking on a trail or some shit that's paved out for you or whatever it's right now kentucky's legit. Kentucky's a little bit easier than a lot of places. As long as you don't get drunk and fall off a rock, you're probably okay. <laughs> yeah. Like that's I think our number one Venus flytrap in Kentucky of death is probably falling off those rocks. Like yeah. that's you know <laughs> people just get to oh selfies, man. People don't understand. Oh, yeah, like dude. you're <laughs> taking one step backwards on that cliff and actually two people died last summer but because of that in Red River Gorge. Dude. Wow. And I love like that. yeah. Dude, so you know we're pretty good. I mean, Dumbasses. we have we have only two or well, I wonder okay, what the picture so technically like, three venomous snakes, but you they got one on the way down, one. maybe. <laughs> oh. No, sorry, oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna document it. Yeah, ain't that with <laughs> everything though? I feel like a lot of disasters now are definitely preventable, but with that phone in your hand, that that one fucking distraction, distraction. can cause massive deaths. Absolutely, we call that the easily preventable rural death. Yeah, and they, like like wear your safety gear if you're on a quad. Like, <laughs> yeah. you know, like yeah, like don't don't shoot at things if you don't know what's behind them. <laughs> no like, shit. A group nah. of pelicans um, is called a brief, a pod, a pouch, a scoop, or a squadron. Oh, Why so neat. many names? <laughs> squadron is awesome. Different dialect. I thought brief country a pod people. was like oh. look at them scoops, man. Look at them <laughs> scoops. <laughs> brief a pod. A brief a pod. <laughs> I've been I've been watching uh, a brief a pod of pelicans. What, uh, <laughs> now I can't even think of the phrase though. Oh. Um, Sorry, but no, that Russell Brand shit that I've been watching. Oh, uh, Skullduggery. Like Skullduggery, dude. <laughs> is that a special? No, that's just mm. a word that he uses all the time. It's yeah. it's like you're getting over on somebody or you trickery or it's whatever. A bunch of Skullduggery. But he'll be like, yeah, they're a bunch like of Skullduggery. Or a Ashton Kusher. Uh, what is that? What's that Ashton Kusher 
mm. show from like way back in the, what, the punk? gotcha punk uh, gotcha uh, <laughs> like punk. yeah it's like being punk <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. I love it <laughs> skullduggery <laughs> skullduggery and it's a, like a reality show he has no 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 oh, he just okay. uses no, he just that word all the time yeah, yeah. Like a, is uh, it, are you watching his podcast yeah where he's just in front of the, the camera and he, yeah. he'll uh, pick a subject okay cool yeah. he's dressed like a Jedi in front of the window <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> no I, I dig him dude like that's another uh, famous person that fell out like was just pretty much fed up with the, the system and talking about how it feels like you're like, two people or yeah. uh, like an out of body experience you're, you're living this one life but you have a ghost that's also living this famous life and you know he kind of got fed up with it but um, now like the shit he talks about is pre- I mean he has a yeah, pretty dude. good mindset awesome. about it all yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, very in depth I'm like I, I dig him I didn't think I'd like him that much but. and from going to like wasn't he like super highly addicted to a bunch of shit and yeah. then he just like stopped everything yeah uh, heroin and um, heroin and uh, sex. sex yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Which, he's right up there with David yeah. Duchovny. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Like, those don't are two great though. ones to do. But. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think COVID just made everybody be like, "All right, I guess I have to focus on self care since oh, there's nothing right. else to distract me from." Or it. just a yeah. bunch of relapsing, probably. Oh, who was the John <laughs> John Mulaney relapse during COVID? Yeah, yeah. 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 What, he what just did got he like? out of cocaine, cocaine, oh, and alcohol. Yeah, yeah. Cocaine and alcohol. Okay. Yeah. He you just know. got out in his uh, like first stand up that he had like tour sold out in like a matter of minutes. It sold out yeah. like that. I was like, damn it, I want to go to this. I mean, <laughs> people people want to see a conflict. They want to see a struggle. And if yeah. somebody's going through the middle of that, that's gonna sell. It. Like Louis C.K. when uh, Dude, Louis, yeah. Yeah. Louis, but like Louis. When, when he first started coming <laughs> back, like name. sold out everywhere. Mm-hmm. We went to Zanies in Nashville to go see him, and right um, after the whole. Right oh, after yeah. it, the like, like yeah, yeah when stuff. people were still like, mm, yeah. Yeah. But, and it. I was like, mm, these tickets are cheap. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they were doing a different kind of. Mm. I was doing that. Mm. So <laughs> we got sat right up front. We so I have a, a weird string of cases of ending up talking to famous comics when we go out to see them. That's and, awesome. Uh, they said, and I don't know why he was soliciting comments from the crowd anymore, but he was like he. He asked us to tell an embarrassing story or something like that. And um, so I ended up telling about the time that Mike and I play a pantsing game. We played a pantsing game for a long time. He doesn't wear his pants tight enough, so I'm going to sneak around and I'm going to get him. Well, he was so conditioned (laughs) to just hold on to those pants. I thought for sure (laughs) we'd be just fine. So he's standing there talking to his grandfather on Easter who's seated. Um, Very awesome. And I'm also line. seated right behind Mike and just reached over and <laughs> dunk. Yes. Yeah, there goes the pants. Well, Mike doesn't wear underwear and his grandpa was seated. <laughs> dick in the so face. There, dick, in dick directly the into the face. Dick in the face. Oh. There was just a moment of like, you know, I would have thought Mike would react quickly to pull the pants up, uh, but like, no, it's like he just looked down it. and was defeated for a moment. Yeah. And yeah. Was like, yeah. I had to run to the bathroom because it was inappropriate to laugh the amount that I was laughing. Like, Did I get this from you or the other side I was of like, the family? They, yeah. They're like not that kind of family either. Like that was completely inappropriate. Like, um, it was still go Easter. to church every Sunday. Time. Yeah, it was, oh, it was Easter. So they don't so, like you, is what you're saying. They never did anyway. So oh, like, <laughs> well, I was wondering, like, oh, with, with you in comedy, like, I'm sure that like that side of the family don't really get that, do they? I mean, a lot of your stuff's clean anyway. I don't. Yeah, I think a lot of your stuff's not, clean. Right? Yeah, it's not it's very yeah. dirty. Yeah. Yeah. There might be curse words, but yeah, no, they. That side of the family like is too old to go to comedy. Yeah, <laughs> oh, that's good. You're yeah. never too old to go to comedy. <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't want them to go. <laughs> <laughs> They're it's too mostly old. about them. Stay so. old. They're too yeah. set in their yeah. ways. They're like, what? This isn't church material. What are we? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> that's rough. Dude. That's yeah. uh. How do you make jokes about Abraham? <laughs> that's uh, I have a lot of family in, in church and stuff, and that's one thing that got other, or me kicked out of the church was what? the podcast. Yeah, well, just, really? just about, yeah oh, because yeah. we entertain the ideal of other religions and Buddhism and Hinduism and shit like that. Well, they don't like they that. Do not They're the only are. religion. They're the only, yeah. yeah. Which yeah. is very unopen minded, if, especially if you want to be, you know, you religion. Want else to be. Yeah, really. yeah. It's yeah. based on that, right? Religion's a cult. Did I get you kicked it out is. again? All right. Yeah, <laughs> again. <laughs> That's I was just double kick though. I was actually happier outside of the church just because I was like, Oh, it's indoctrination for sure. Absolutely. Indoctrination. And well, they, they guilt 
They it's really fun. hated Guilt. that oh, I didn't shunning. go yeah, and were married. They hate that I didn't go. Yeah. Oh. Because I would play. I never went. I hated it. I played music like for the church. Me and really? my dad mm-hmm. did. Yeah. Oh. And that's the they were they hated it. Mm-hmm. They hated that she didn't go. And then well, after they saw the podcast, they were like, 10 percent you're out." <laughs> could have given. Yeah, oh. there's ten more Did, percent that could have been. Was it the family or the church that kicked you out? Uh, the church. church. Oh yeah. my god. My That's dad stopped petty. going because of yeah. that. Yes, yeah. church. My dad was like, "Well, fuck y'all then." Name drop. Well, good. Name <laughs> drop. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to this church and not burn it down. Ah, maybe put them in the kidding. pews and not burn it down. There's a lot I of church burnings that, going on in <laughs> yeah. Canada right now. I probably shouldn't oh. have. Yeah, yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. Really? It's yeah. about time they do it. Oh, you can't do it in just Norway. <laughs> <laughs> that's um. There's a lot of uh, they're targeting the Catholics, so that's cool. Is that what it is? Or are they burning information? No. Well, you know I mean? ooh, I'm trying to like think burn of the story. Plot twist. This is where we need the third adult from our house here. <laughs> 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 He's the one where he knows all that. But it's something about like uh, mm-hmm. back in the day, the church used to really treat Native Americans super bad, mm-hmm. and like super bad to where like if they fucked up once. They kill them, Damn. and like there's like a bunch of God. bones and stuff like hidden in like church <gasps> oh, basements yeah. and what, and that's why there's a bunch God. of outrage. Why did they get rid of the goddamn bones? It's hard to burn bones, man. Yeah, feed them to the pigs. Well, but you can't act like that's just what is this something fucking they uh, did. Tiger King, right? right. Uh, <laughs> like the people they gotta now. Be at least that good. Yeah, it's, it's rough to get your get backs at people that. I Come up don't technically s- have anything to do with it. But yeah, it's been it's a, a while. Weird one. Yeah. <laughs> well, look, look, even <laughs> if they bury the bones, uh-huh. like they end up finding the stuff. Yeah, There's it's a lot less incriminating. To have a, a mass grave of bones? <laughs> you could have buried those. All those no. bones. They're in the basement. <laughs> no. like, yeah. You could have used all those bones and built a bone church. And you could definitely Ooh, have a bone, bone church. church. Oh, there's totally that in France. Yeah. There, there is yeah. a church made out of bones in France. There is. Good old catacombs. No. <laughs> no. No. Yeah, I feel like that's where a lot of burnings come from, eh? especially churches, because they, they generally they house like historical information. And it's uh, they were really based in the church. And I feel like, um, that's why they do that, man. They burn it, and then they create their own history. And they yeah. teach yeah. you what they want you to know. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, mm-hmm. I would agree with that. Yeah. Weird. And they stop talking about the Leviathan, and everybody should be <laughs> dark. I don't yeah. know many uh, meanings of words over two or three syllables. <laughs> <laughs> the Levi. Levi. Yeah, yeah that's uh, two syllables <laughs> over my <laughs> threshold. <laughs> yeah. Awesome, man. What? Oh, Skinny. I was just giving you a thing no. to I'm about to <laughs> eat me some food. Yeah. Uh, no, dude. Uh, thank you so much, Mike. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Molly. Thank you. Yeah, all. thanks, guys. Yeah. I appreciate uh, you all having us out. Do you still run your uh, your show that you do for uh, reviewing the flashlights? <laughs> um, no, I strictly went on Amazon review for like the last two years because they uh, they they. We're a lot easier to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't say they paid you. Don't, don't uh, say that. No, don't tell. Yeah. Amazon, no. I never get paid never for anything. Amazon. Anything. Ah. <laughs> Amazon, <laughs> you don't you don't know my handle? <laughs> <laughs> that's right. It'd be awesome if that was your handle. <laughs> you don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Amazon, you don't know my handle. That's a lot. <laughs> and Molly, do you post your um, your adventures up anywhere? She's going to start now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Got to get her a GoPro. Better. No, I, I have like an imager account and a Facebook account. That's how old I am. I basically... I you had I, an I, Instagram. No, not Instagram, but Reddit. You had a Reddit account. Right? Ooh, Reddit. Not even that anymore. Oh, damn. Yeah. Jesus yeah. So no, not really. Um, basically. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you have say, to start. You have Reddit's to start the only thing I don't have. I don't have yeah. any of them. Yeah. I, yeah. But you I, got that camera. That camera's a good camera. That right? is a good camera. That's the yes. one you got, right? Use it. Yeah, that's dude. better than Use mine. It. Yeah, and you, oh, can, yeah. you can film for long Steal periods this of time. Steal <laughs> all this one. Just swap them. They're just different colors. It's my you never parents. Know. You can have But it. absolutely, when I, uh, <laughs> I'll let you know when I start documenting my my beginning of an abandoned house project. Because that would be interesting. People are interested in that. For sure. I'll get all artsy on it. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, Smoke Molly, while you're filming. Michael, it. thank you so much for being thank here. Thank you. Again, Hi. Is, uh, Sarah. I'm always e, glad to be here. And I'm Adam. Uh, that was episode time. 112 Skibbity. of the Wildly Uninteresting Podcast. One, one, two. We're out. Scat, 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 on a microphone. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wildly Uninteresting Podcast. Oh. It's so sensitive.